Well, let's see. To start with, let's see. My name is Michael Collier, but I go by MC Big Boy on the internet. Uh, I've kind of taken myself off the internet for a while. Uh, first of all, I hate social networking. Uh, I'll just be honest. I hate all social networks. Uh, the main reason why is because I'm dyslexic and I can't spell. I couldn't spell my way out of a paper bag. I'd still be in the paper bag drowning, you know. It's like telling a blonde to go pee in the corner of a silo. She'd drown herself. She'd be in the corner. She'd be circling that silo all day long and never get out of it. I just never find my way out of a paper bag. But anyway, that's another point. And um, I think I have uh, reversed my diabetes. Uh, that is what I'm making this video about. You know, hello, kitty. Cats come up to tell me hello this morning. That's what this video is about. Is I think I've reversed my diabetes. So let me give you a little background and uh, let's get started with this video. Uh, four years ago or about, uh, my doctor, I knew I had diabetes because I had been told when we lived in Texas that I had diabetes uh, and didn't have any insurance at the time. And I was given McForman, which everybody starts off on McForman. And like most people, McForman did not do a daggum thing for this redneck Texan. Uh, it didn't uh, didn't touch my blood sugar at all. And of course, I was not eating properly. I was still, you know, drinking uh, Coca-Cola like it was um, going out of style. My parents used to tease me that I might as well just put an IV of Coca-Cola in my blood veins because I drank, you know, several two liters or six packs sometimes every day in fact when i got married i was drinking you know several big gulps uh at 7-eleven and so forth plus what i would drink at home you know every time you know you, you, know, you get on the road in texas you got to stop at 7-eleven and get a big gulp and everywhere you go you got to get a you know you stop and get a pop you know so anyway when uh, after I became disabled and stuff and the finances went downhill, the soda pops kind of started dwindling. And so I wasn't drinking as much pop, but my diet still was not as good. And um, when, uh, so anyway, my foreman was not doing a daggum thing. And uh, I didn't have any insurance. And, but I did get, doctors i did have um, a health care plan or i did have some type of medical treatment and my a1c was a whopping 12 and um, my doctor was saying you know you really need to get this under control or you're gonna have health issues later on in life and i told my doctor i said if you would give me some insulin <laughs> that I could get my A1C under control, but I needed insulin to do it. Well, four years ago, I got my Medicaid, and once I did that, in three months, I went from a 12 to a six. And my doctor told me not to chase the numbers. I had a wise doctor who told me not to chase the numbers. So many times I hear people with diabetes who take their blood sugar and then they eat and they check it again and then they take some more insulin or they eat and they that all day long they're chasing the numbers. That's not what my doctor told me to do. My doctor told me to do it a little bit different. And my regimen consisted of, I took my blood sugar, and then I calculated by what I was going to eat and figured out a, figured out kind of how much insulin I needed based on what I was going to eat. And then I didn't check my blood sugar again until I was going to eat again. And I didn't chase the numbers. I didn't worry about it again until I ate again. And within, like I said, within three months, I had my A1C at a six. And I've kept it there for four years. Well, I've always been overweight 
all my life. I've bounced up and down. Well, on uh, July 4th of this year, I decided it's time to get rid of the weight. I have um, pinched nerves all the way up and down my back that cause lots of pain. Uh, my legs swell up uh, tremendously if I don't keep them elevated. And in fact, that's why you see me kind of at this awkward position here because my legs swell up all the time. And so I have to keep them elevated all the time. And so that's why I am have them up at the moment. And so uh, it makes it kind of hard to do a lot of things. But anyway, so what I wanted to do was I want to lose weight. And so I know how to lose weight. Lose weight is simple. Everybody in this country thinks it's hard to lose weight. Weight is a simple formula. Goes in, goes out. You know, what you put in your gullet, what goes out your gullet. I mean, you know, it's just a simple factor. You know, calories in, calories out. People want to make it so hard, so difficult. You know if you're eating 10,000 calories a day, you're going to put weight on. I mean, it's just a simple fact. The second factor is, is that human beings are carb machine, or are, excuse me, are carnivores. We're born carnivores. We are carnivores. We're not plant eaters. We're not herbivores. We're carnivores. And so... I am on a high protein, no carb, no sugar. I haven't had, well, I'll tell you a couple exceptions here. No sugar, no carbs, no processed, nothing in a box. Of course, we don't eat anything in a box anyway because we're, my wife and I are both disabled, and so we cook fresh meals every day. We don't dump a box on our dinner. We never have. I never liked that anyway. So... On July, uh, on July 4th, I started a diet. I weighed 350 pounds. Today, which is October the 7th, I weigh 308 pounds. So I've lost 42 pounds. And I think I've reversed my diabetes. And I'll tell you why I think that. Um, over the last uh, three months, I've, at, uh, on July the 4th, uh, fourth, I was taking uh, 50 units of uh, Lantus twice a day, and I was taking between 20 and 30 units of Novolog each of my meals. Well, within 20 days of starting my diet, I got rid of my Novolog. I stopped taking my Novolog. I didn't need it anymore. And then... I reduced my Lantus. Now I'm only taking 20 units of Lantus every day, twice a day. And I don't even think I need that because two days ago I had a 30 ounce Coke and two slices of pizza for lunch. I didn't take any Novolog. And then at dinner time, when I checked my blood sugar, it was 114 and people I'm here to tell you that prior to this if I had done that my blood sugar would have been like 250 or 260 prior to that in that between lunch and dinner my blood sugar would have been close to 250 in between lunch and dinner if I had done that but this week when I did that that's what it was that to me is a reversal and every day right now my blood sugar is between uh, 108 and 121 right now every day that's what my blood sugars are and I'm not exercising all I'm doing is eating a simple set of meals that are based on um, protein and real vegetables and that's it well uh we'll cut this video here it's almost at 10 minutes and then we'll make uh, another video on what i'm actually eating and everything hope this helps somebody y'all have a wonderful day god bless america